Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, David Payne. Is there any chance that she could possibly maybe want to work in the News 9 Weather Center? <laughs> Just for maybe a couple of severe weather events? Just, I don't know that you'd survive, David. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. She would be amazing. Just have her over here yelling at me the whole time. That'd be our way Bring warning. her around. Patty Gasso is in the building. I go, oh, jeez. Go to Val. Go to Val. <laughs> I mean, she would be amazing. Yeah, she'd be great. All right, here we go. Hey, check this out. Boom. That could be the uh, tornado video of the year. That's coming in from West Texas, northwest of Lubbock, about three hours ago. Uh, yeah, here's what's going on. Condensate is down to here. That's the cloud part, right? That's the wall cloud. There's your condensate. And then underneath the condensate, we have the dirt up and around the tornado, right? And uh, that is impressive. This was in a rural area. There is nothing out here except for fields. But nonetheless, that was going on about three hours ago. Look at that shot from Dave Robbins. Wow. Man, you can look at that for a while. There's all kinds of things going on in there. We have dry air wrapping around. We have the inflow jet on the northeast side, the east side, the southwest jet coming in here. Anyway, you talk about it all day. That is incredible. All right, our weather, not that exciting, but still a little rowdy coming up. We have a big time uh, flood watch in effect for all the counties in blue through tomorrow evening. It includes all of Oklahoma City. Now, all the counties here that are flashing, those are current flood warnings in effect. That does include the metro, not for major flash flooding, but watch out for some ponding on the roadways and at least some rural flash flooding going on here for the next several hours. We do have a one flash flood warning going on in northern Lincoln County up near Wild Horse and Tryon and Kearney, anywhere from three to nearly four inches of rain's falling up near Cushing. So there's gonna be some flooding here and you know the deal, do not drive into water. Turn around, go the other way, turn around, don't drown. We say it over and over again, or turn around, don't be that guy, right? All right, let's, let's be smart about this. Lots of rain still falling in Canadian County, Kingfisher County, Logan, Payne County, all the way now into Eastern Oklahoma. New rain developing down to our south, rain developing in the northwest, up around Woodward and Buffalo. This will continue to increase as it's doing now, and you'll take all that you can get, right? Heavy rain, Kingfisher, Guthrie, Stillwater. This is the heaviest rain in the state currently. Northwest sides of Oklahoma City, good rains in here, lifting to the northeast. Some small hail, quite a bit of lightning and thunder coming into Perkins, back to Cashin and Kingfisher. But again, none of this is severe, except there will be that flooding threat overnight tonight and into tomorrow. And it's a real threat. This rain keeps going. We're going to have some flooding issues for sure. Heavy rain over Deer Creek, back to Piedmont, Richland and Yukon, moving to the north. And it's coming down. It's a lot of water going on here from Seward back to Surrey Hills, Yukon, El Reno. Boy, some nice rains there out west. Rain beginning to take off near Visay and Camargo, lifting northeast. More rain and storms now from Freedom to Laverne. It's exactly what you need in the northwest. Rain, rain, and let it rain. Okay, so this is wave one. Here comes wave two for tonight and into tomorrow morning. And then we'll get that third wave for late tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening. Western Oklahoma moving into Shattuck at about midnight or so. We'll say Laverne at about 12.05. And how about Buffalo at about 12.41. This line out here is not severe, but some lightning and thunder with that. It'll keep moving east. Temperatures now in the 50s. Record cold today, you bet. Now here's what's gonna happen. The wave in the panhandle moves east overnight tonight. There's your morning drive. Wow, yeah. We're, we're covered up, lots of rain. If we can become unstable in the afternoon, this second line here might produce a little more severe weather. If the rain holds in all day, we're gonna have mainly a wind and a hail and a flooding threat. That'll be the big concern tomorrow um, if we don't get the instability back. So, and even some rain hanging around into your Wednesday morning for a while. All right, so rainfall amounts, an additional one to two to three inches of rain. Some data tonight giving Oklahoma City anywhere from three to six to seven inches of rain tomorrow. If that happens, we will have flooding in the metro from Oklahoma City west and north and northwest is where the heaviest rain will fall. All right, lows tonight, 50s and 60s, cool. Rain chances overnight, highs you can get, northern, central, southern, western Oklahoma at 100%. Few storms in the southwest late tonight still might produce a little wind, a little hail there. Highs tomorrow in the 60s and 70s, so we try to become unstable. If we get to the 70s, that will give us a chance for some severe weather, but the chance of rain tomorrow, it's as high as you can get at 
percent. Some showers Wednesday morning for a while. Still cloudy, still cool. There's your Thursday. There's your Memorial Day weekend. 80s going to the 90s. And here we go. We'll be back with sports right after this.